Hi all. Today I am going to view the demo how to implement dependency injection using structure map in MVC. I have created the basic MVC for Pandora application. If you observe here, it doesn't have any controllers added here, empty controller folders as well as it doesn't have any views. And so now the next step is we need to add structure map DLLs to to this to our to this solution. For that we need to go to manage new get and we need to search structure map. So this is the latest uh, uh, version for the MEC code. So I'll try to install this. It will get added all the required DLLs to, to uh, our solution automatically. So we get. Uh, yeah, yeah installation got succeeded so if you see if you observe here there is one more additional folder got added here that is is dependency resolution if you open here there is a three files but here we need to modify the one of the files for dependency injection that is IOC uh, so I will try to add better, uh, better things to this file structure now. So build got succeeded. Once the uh, structure map configuration done, now we will create the one new control new control. So we add controller. So my, I will give the uh, controller name as home. Home controller. Uh, so and so it is automatically uh, by default it is having the index action. So uh, I will try to uh, create the view. As index here, it is a uh, view engine is Azure. So I am trying to build the application. I will try to run the solution. I will run the application. So uh, it's not successful. We are getting the response from the view. I had a do on a simple class and it has the method called dis display. It is written in on string as with my sample. So, suppose for example, you want to access that method from that class, we need to create the object. Object in controller VJ. No, from OVJs. 
run the application we will see how the output becomes so this is the output this is the string we are uh, we are uh, reading from the class and uh, displaying to the view So if you observe this code, we are directly creating object inside of our controller. This type of uh, code we are calling as a coupling. We are completely depending on this uh, on this class. So um, suppose if any changes happened, you have to uh, in those changes you also uh, need to implement in in home controller, right? So, by using structured map, we can avoid this. We can call it as a decoupling that, and I will show you how to implement that in using structured map. So, I have changed slightly in the code. I created one simple interface called iSamp. It has one method display, and I implemented that interface in sample DB class. Now I will go to that to my controller. I will create one constructor for this controller. This controller will accept it. I sample as an object. I'm going to assign that object to the problem available. Now I'm going to use this So if you observe here, I have created a um, constructor for the home controller. It is accepting I sample as an object. That object I I assign to our local variable. From um, so this object I am using to get I am using to access the inside the methods. Here I am not. If you observe here, I am not going to create any uh, objects here directly. So it, it can be any type of class which has implemented in I sample. I can use it here. It can be sample DB. It can be uh, another class like uh, sample DB one. So any type of class which has implemented in I sample can pass object here and access those methods. So now now there is one more change is required. Dependency injection IOC. Here we need to configure that uh, that I sample uh, that we need to configure uh, that interface here in IOC class.
this is the only change we need to do so indirectly uh, dependent injection uh, structure map will automatically identify the uh, class files related to eye sample and pass it to this constructor from there our code will work as it is so i will run this application we will see the output how it is So it's working fine. So there is no uh, here as I mentioned here I am not going to uh, create any object here directly. Just I will configure the uh, those uh, those details inside of IOC class. The structure map will automatically identify and pass it uh, corresponding object to this uh, uh, controller. I hope you enjoy this demo. Please provide your comments in comment section. Thank you.